BG, I, I met BG. Uh, you go to my store when you come to Dallas, you'll see I got him on the wall with me before he went to prison. Did you get a chance? You know him and your dad. You know they hung out. Um, hey, y'all know that dude. Y'all the tip, bitch. Y'all know what that. When the homie hit the tip, when the homie hit the fucking tip. Hold up, get all this. Did you ever get a chance to talk with BG or any of those guys? Um, because you would have been young, right? Yeah, like I spent a lot of time with him in the day of the funeral. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. It's great, actually. A lot of my songs kind of like, I, I always like show my pops out. Thinking about my pop, how you let them snakes get you. You got too comfortable and let them niggas catch you slipping. You know what I'm saying? When you go to the gravesite and stuff, did it, did it kind of, you know, on these days, like say it was a day you was paying tribute, it, it kind of made you have to go there and thought, didn't it? Not really. Honestly, man, I, I kind of like, you know how a lot of people, it be hard for a lot of people to, I can't let it go, but I really gave peace to it, you know what I'm saying, to the situation to myself. Like, I found peace within myself because I actually went through way more than people, anybody know I went through. Only person really knew, like, majority of everything I went through with my mama, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, with counselors and different stuff, like, that's always been a part of my life, you know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of people be like, well, he got real issues. He really crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a regular person. Like, everybody got issues. Everybody go through, go through mental traumas. And, you know what I'm saying? Heartbreak. Do you, like that. you want to say something? What about um, BG? I, I met BG. Uh, you go to my store when you come to Dallas, you'll see I got him on the wall with me before he went to prison. Did you get a chance? You know him and your dad. You know, they hung out. Um did you ever get a chance to talk with BG or any of those guys? Um, Because you would have been young, right? Yeah, like, I spent a lot of time with him in the day of the funeral. Okay. Um, but not really after that. Not really after that? Uh -uh. Did people kind of pull back or were they... Yeah. Uh, they yeah, pulled back then? Yeah, you know how people are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... Everybody how they did it. I, I understand it as a grown man. Everybody how they did it, they problems, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wanna be going through what they be going through. And then me growing up to understand the type of person he was. Yeah. I understand, you feel yeah. me? But like, um his, a lot of his kids, like, I ain't, I ain't gonna just say like his son, like everybody know I know, you know what I'm saying? But like a, a couple of his kids like drew to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we got relationships. Dope. That's dope. That's live, man. Uh, I tried to. I think I tried to interview his mom uh, a little while ago, and I didn't get her. But I'm still working on it. Um, just uh, I can get his son for you, though. Really? Um, if you get him, that that where's he at? Right? He in, in, in New Orleans. Um, we got to get him. Ty Ty actually Ty locked up right now. That's what I was about to say. Like I kind of like like growing up, I, I went through a like. The backstory on me and T.Y. I met T.Y. when I was like 14. Okay. I ain't sleep, I ain't eating, I ain't bathe. I ain't been back to my spot in like three days. Okay. I used to hang out on Canal Street. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we were into each other. it. He knew who I was. I ain't really know who he, who he was, but we just connected. We just locked in. Um, so like we kind of like grew up together. Dope. Because Dope. a lot of people meet, they, I, I ain't know this, but a lot of people do meet their best friends like between the ages of 10 and 15, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that them really be like most crucial ages of your life. So we kind of like grew up together. We used to hang together. Um, but like we grew up doing everything together and he just got caught with some guns and stuff. So yeah, he just got caught with some go. guns and stuff. No better. I kind of, um, I kind of want to say too much, but he in jail right now. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? But I still your partner though. I'm trying to stash away your honey by my B day. See OG perk keep dozing off from the lean. Yeah, you know, like this is one of my close partners, you know what I'm saying? Who I went through a lot, went through the most crucial times of my life, who I was broke with, who I got money with. And that's kinda why I watch what I say, I watch what I do, I watch who I go around. I don't really do As you too should. much. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really be on young nigga time like we used to be on. You then you're doing the right thing, man. Cause yeah. you know you're getting older too, Facts. and and you got you you here representing your pops, man. And like, I got three kids. You got three kids, and you here representing your pops. See y'all, you you he, what would he want? You know what he would want. He yeah. wants you to look out for your three kids, of course, like you want to do as yeah. well. But at the same time, also to create this legacy that he would have wanted to see. You know, right. 
that's the, that's what it's about for us, man. After you get so old, you just want to see the next generation. My son's 29, 30, what, 30? He's 29 now. 29. That's yeah. right. Yeah, and he, you know, he's striving, you know. Yeah. And the main thing is to leave a legacy when I'm gone that he'll, you know, be able to look at me and, like, dang, you know, he did his thing. Your see, dad did a hell of a job. See, that's what I, like, that's why I, I, I know he would be proud of me because yeah. I really built all my shit from dirt. Like, I ain't had yeah. no support with this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? At all. Like, no financial support, no nothing. Like, everything that I got, I got it from the ground. You feel me? Yeah. And that's what I feel like he'll be more proud of more than anything. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.